Okay, let's go ahead and continue then. And we're going to take a look at three things. One is going to be called the negative angle formulas, and the other is going to be called the complementary angle formulas. And then we're going to have to take a look at two particular triangles that is going to be absolutely essential that you memorize in terms of what their angles are and what the lengths are of the sides of those particular right, right triangles. Let's start off first with the negative angle formulas. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the relationship between, say for example, cosine and cosine of the opposite of theta. Okay, so notice that what we're dealing with is we're dealing with a positive angle and a negative angle, and it's our relationship between the two. Now, remember what we said before is we said that everything is going to be based upon the unit circle. So we're always going to be referring back to that. And let's just take a look at what we have for the negative angle formulas. Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to compare again what is the relationship between the cosine of negative theta and the cosine of theta. Now, take a look at those two angles. One is negative and the other one is positive. So, I've drawn in the first quadrant the positive angle theta and also in the fourth quadrant the negative angle theta. And those both angles are in standard position. And notice that what we come up with is we come up with a representation for this point P, which is xy, which is the cosine of theta, sine of theta, because that's basically what the angle is. And for this particular point, being that I'm dealing with the angle negative theta, it's the cosine of the negative theta, comma, sine of the negative of theta. So now what's the relationship between the two? Well, hopefully with this one here, if we go ahead and compare the cosine of theta and the cosine of negative theta, remember that actually refers to the x value of either one of these triangles. And notice that the x value is right here, it's going to be the same. So notice that the cosine of the opposite of theta is really the same thing as the cosine of theta. So there you go, that's one of our angle, negative angle formulas. Now let's use that same type of reasoning to go ahead and take a look at the sine. Well here is the sine of theta, and here is the sine of the negative theta. So what exactly is the relationship there? Now notice, remember, remember what we're dealing with is we're dealing with the y values for this particular value for the sine of theta. So that particular value of there is positive here. That particular value is negative, of course, because it's in the fourth quadrant. So what that means then is that this is not equal so long as, uh, but they will be equal if I go ahead and say that the sine of the opposite of theta is going to be the same thing as the negative sine of theta. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at tangent. Now, remember, everything is based upon sine and cosine. Everything that you have is based upon sine and cosine. So, even if we wanted to go ahead and take a look at tangent, say, for example, the tangent of the negative theta, well, I can't really do that here. So, let's just make sure that we always go back to what we know in terms of sine and cosine. So, the tangent of the negative of theta is actually the same thing as the sine of negative theta over the cosine of negative theta. Well, in terms of theta, we know that this is going to be the opposite of the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta because that's what we came out with here. And of course, what that is, that's just the opposite of the tan of theta. So if I add that there, then I know for a fact that these would be the correct negative angle formulas. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the complementary angle formulas. Now, the complementary angle formulas, I'm going to refer a little bit more to these here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to the sine of theta. And this is going to be a nice one here to look at here. Let's just say, for example, that the theta, and let's use this side over here, the theta is going to be 30. Well, if that's the case, then if I take the sine of 30, well, that's the same thing as 1 half divided by 1. And we don't have to worry about this, so it's just going to be 1 half. Well, isn't that the same thing as that we look at it from this side and say that that's the same thing as the cosine of 60 degrees, and sure enough, that's the case. And that will always be the case because we know that 90 minus theta is always going to be the complementary angle of any right triangle. So we can then go ahead and say that the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is going to be the same thing as the sine of theta, and we can always go ahead and use the same idea with the sine of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosine theta. Okay, and so there you go, there's your complementary angle formulas. Now, we're also going to have to be absolutely clear 
that you have to memorize these two triangles. This is the 30-60 right triangle, and this is the 45-45 right triangle. And notice that the hypotenuse is 1, and the reason why, of course, is because we need to put it into the unit circle. But these values here are going to be absolutely essential for you to memorize because, of course, uh, there are going to be times when you can't use your calculator and you need to go ahead and be able to calculate, say, for example, the sine of 30, and you should go like that. Okay? So, what we need to do then is, first of all, just make sure that you know those values of those triangles and make sure that you understand that we're going to be using those values to determine the sine and cosine values of a lot of established angles within the unit circle itself. And we'll get to that and we'll talk about that a little bit more in class. Okay, so just to summarize again, we started off again with the negative angle formulas and the complementary angle formulas. We looked at how you need to compare cosine of negative, uh, sorry, the trig, uh, trig value of a negative angle and a positive angle and seeing what the relationship is there. Using that, then to go ahead and derive, say for example, the negative angle formula for tangent. We looked at the two right triangles that are going to be absolutely essential to memorize and use that information to go ahead and show that the complementary angle formulas are going to be working for any particular angle that you have so that we can go ahead and come up with those formulas itself. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, some questions that you have, hopefully do some problems in class as well, and I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye.